Darwin is considered to be the father of evolution, but why? So, the first person who explained how evolution happens was Charles Darwin by scientific theory of natural selection. Given enough time, these small changes or small changes within a species can add up to the extent that a new species evolves. So, natural selection is the differential survival and reproduction of individuals due to differences in phenotype. Right, phenotype is the way that something looks. So individuals in a species show a wide range of variation. That means that they show different characteristics and look slightly different from each other. So we now know that this variation is because of small differences in the genes. So individuals with characteristics most suited to the environment are more likely to survive and therefore more likely to reproduce. So the genes that allow the individuals to be successful are passed on to the next generation or to their offspring. So individuals that are poorly adapted to the environment are less likely to survive so therefore tend not to reproduce. So this means that their genes are less likely to be passed on to the next generation. So if we go up and we'll look at a specific example that might come up. So the Galapagos Islands are a group of islands in the Pacific Ocean. The nearest country is mainland Ecuador, which is about a thousand kilometers away. By some means, a few seed-eating finches were the first birds to reach the island. So the way that this came about was that withering the population where there was a variation in their genes caused by mutations. So this causes the shape of the beaks to change. So the birds with beaks that allow them to get the most food survive. So the birds on different islands were evolving differently. The birds with beaks that don't allow them to get enough food end up dying. So the gene passed to the next generation will be from the birds with the beaks that are best adapted. So this causes the beak to eventually become thinner. So that's it. Hopefully this will let you go and answer questions about evolution and natural selection at Key Stage 3.